Hey guys, just got back from the Little Portage uh, Wildlife Reserve. Um, Robbie and I had a pretty good day fishing. Not any real big fish, but uh, a nice amount of uh, good eating size catfish. Um, not only did we fish there for three and a half or four hours or so, uh, we went up creek uh, or up river and didn't really have any luck there. And then our, on our way out, we ended up stopping back at Muddy Creek and Robbie ended up catching one more fish about like this size right here. Um, and there was a guy next to us that was fishing and he, I guess he doesn't keep the catfish so he ended up giving it to me. So total I have six fish but five of them I caught. And uh, right now I have them hung up from the tree because I'm about to bleed them. To me, I believe that, you know, bleeding them makes the, the meat better, meat taste better and stuff. Plus, it saves me the mess when I go to fillet them. So, before I begin any of that process, I'm just going to say a quick prayer and then we're going to get to it. Dear God, thank you for the opportunity that you blessed us with to bring in great fish and to put dinner on the table for myself. Robbie and our families. Thank you, God. Amen. All right, so I'm gonna grab my scissors real quick, and then I'm gonna uh, cut the tails off of them and spray them down one good time. Come back out here in about 15 to 25 minutes or so, and then I'll be beginning the flame process. All right, so when I cut them, I don't cut right at the very tip of the tail. Like, I've done that before and I didn't actually get to a vein. I ended up just cutting the tip, literally the tip of the tail off and didn't get to where the blood's gonna come out. So you wanna go up maybe about an inch from where you see tail hit like their main skin. I'll clean up the tails and leave these be for 15-25 minutes. Hey guys, uh, I just got the catfish off the tree. They're done bleeding and stuff. Uh, so, I'm about to get this uh, flame process on the way. So, uh, show you guys how I do my catfish real quick. First up, I use a scalpel or an exacto blade, and I just follow along, like right here, if you feel. Up here around the head there's this little V where their backbone right here connects to their head and then runs down runs down the jawline and the back of the skull and you want to start up there. And just I'm just going to use this to score the skin just to get it cut. This skin is pretty tough, so I like to, to 
to use these exacto blades doing this type of work. And then I'm just going to pull pretty much straight down the back spine. And just free up all that that skin away from the meat. I'm just gonna follow his jawline down. Let's see. Oh, it's right there. Score that. Fall down here. Down to about there and then I'll follow this kind of like this line right here all the way down. crossover from there around this anal bone right here anal fin follow down from there Down the back fin, and on the way out, make sure I got all the skin cut. Oh, that's a little bit right here. And then I'm just going to take, I'm turning it this way because it's a little bit easier for me to hold and just fall down his back around this little flap of fin right there. And then fall out the tail. Grab my skinning pliers and pull right on that tab that I originally cut at the top and your skin should come off in one nice piece like that and we'll just go and discard that in the trash can over here now I'm just going to do this side the same way comes off in one nice clean piece now we're going to take our fillet knife and shove it up right up underneath this corner area and poke it through the other side and just run our knife cut that loose take my knife and get down all the way to the rib cage and I'm just going to First, follow along the bone as much as I can, just to free it from the back of this this spine. So, as much as I can. That way, it gives me a good reference point. Oh, fall a little too close there. All right, and then basically just start scoring it against the bone to slowly start getting this meat to pull away
guys. I'm just gonna keep falling. The rib cage, which you can easily feel. I'm just running the tip of my knife along this rib cage there. I'm just gonna keep doing that until I get to where I think is the end of his rib cage. right about there and then I'm gonna gonna cut press down and follow his backbone and on this part of the fin all the way down Take your knife and trim any excess fatty pieces that you might have that you don't want on there. And maybe just There it is. Nice fillet. I'm just gonna throw that in my water over here. Flip them over and continue the same process on this side. And there's the second fillet. This made up. Put that fat off. Maybe a little fat right there. And that is good meat right there. That's good. Put that in the water. Now this guy's so small, I'm not going to really do much in this area. There's not really a lot of meat in the head of this one. In the stomach, I've actually tried eating stomach meat before and I don't like it. It's just too fatty for me and the texture of the meat just doesn't t it taste that well and it just feels weird. So, too much fat for me, but this is not going to waste. I'm putting them in a trash bag. I'm going to tie them up and uh, save them for a day to where I can dig some holes around my garden. And I've already got like six catfish in the garden, three in between some roses, and then I have three more around my, uh, what are they called, uh, prickly pears. And they're really blooming nice so I'm going to take this guy and basically use them as fertilizer so I have five more fish to do I just wanted to show you guys real quick about how I do uh, my fling yeah it's a little out of the way with you know the scalpel and this should be sharp enough to do it um, I try to sharpen my knives between each fillet because this does get kind of dull but this works great for just uh, getting the skin cut so you can remove it with your pliers or whatever you have to peel the skin back 
Um, if you guys found this uh, video informative and you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that bell button and you'll be notified of any future videos that I come out with. Alright guys, see you on the next one.